Hello, fellow traders. It's Nutty Bar, and it's time to do the recap. Oh, man, let's just dive right in. First, um, yeah, obviously the big news, the big news in the prop firm world. Yeah, I wanted to talk a little bit about it is just FTT. FTT officially and very unfortunately uh, closed shop today. Um, just rug pulled everyone. They rug pulled, they rug pulled over 10 million in payouts last month. Um, and that was approved payouts. And now this morning their discord. Yeah, basically they shut everything down. So it's very sad. <clears throat> it's a sad time in this prop firm industry, but in, at the same time, if a prop firm rug pulls, if a prop firm rug pulls 10 million in approved payouts, that prop firm shouldn't exist. That prop firm should not, it should not survive. But I mean, I feel terrible for everyone that was affected, um, except for the people that kept defending FTT. Um, if you kept defending FTT after they rug pulled the 10 million in approved payouts, I don't really feel bad for you. Um, you kind of got what's coming, but for those that saw and were just stuck in it and got uh, their payouts denied for no reason, I'm sorry, man. I feel bad. I, 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 yeah, my condolences. Um, it sucks. Um, but it is what it is. And I guess, anyway, I don't know. Those are kind of my thoughts on it. It's just overall, it's just a sad situation and I wish it wouldn't be like that. Um, but it is what it is. Now, let's dive into the recap. What a... I had a crazy... I had a lousy, terrible trading day, okay? Um, just terrible. I... I don't know. It was probably my worst day of trading in quite some time. It's my first uh, red day in, I think, about two weeks. So you knew it was coming, but... Let's just go over the trades. Um, let's just get it over with. But again, the overnight session, we just we're just going higher. And the reason I think why I'm even more frustrated than normal, this kind of price action is what I love. I love this kind of price action. And I should be making bank. Um, but I, I just messed it all up today. I just completely messed it all up and we'll go over it, but I took my first trade here, um, and I. This is where it started going bad. I just, I don't know why I panicked out. I panicked out on my runner, and uh, obviously the runner would have worked great. That just kind of started out the day wrong, and then we got another pullback. Like none of my entries were bad. I was totally okay with my entries, but then here um went in long it hit my first target i had my stop down here well below the 15 minute opening range well below these wicks so uh i mean it's one of those things where i don't know i mean in hindsight yes i should have had my stop a little bit lower i mean yes i wish i would have known i would have but uh yeah got got stopped out to the tick and then the market just proceeded to rip higher and then literally the same thing happened here. Just identical, but only a bigger loss. Stopped out almost to the tick. And then now it's ripped higher and making new highs again. So in the past, this is where, this is where, even though I'm really frustrated, um, this is a big difference from my past self to now. In the past, I would not be okay with walking away today. I would not, period. Like, I am on the verge of going on tilt. But I shut down my trading for the day, and I'm walking away, and I know if I come back tomorrow, this red will disappear from my charts, and we have a fresh new start. I know, I know my, my, I know what will ha happen. <clears throat> One of two things would happen if I continue trading. 
If I continue trading, there is a chance that I would make back this money and we might even end up green. But the problem is, I know for a fact that at this point, I'm no longer willing to take a loss. And when I enter with that kind of mindset, I know it is time to walk away and lock it down for the day. That is how you can sustain trading. Because if I enter and this, this gives me another nice pullback and I enter again on a nice setup, I know if that price starts to come down toward my stop after getting stopped out twice like this, I know I'm going to move my stop down lower. I know I'm not going to accept a loss. And then if it's a V-shaped reversal lower, the only the only thing that is going to stop me is me blowing all of these accounts. And that is where my biggest struggle was in the past, where I feel like now I have the ability to walk away and I'm okay with walking away, even though I know that if I continue trading, I probably could make back this loss. But that isn't so much the problem as I know I'm not willing to accept a loss. So we're walking away. Anyway, that's, I don't know. I just felt like sharing that, I guess. But still, overall, not a good day for me. I'm just very frustrated. Days like today is what I really love having. And just, it. this is a prime example of, you know, you look at hindsight, you look at some of these days and you're like, oh, I would have made so much money if I would have traded today. <laughs> it's never that easy. So, but anyway, tomorrow's a new day. I hope you guys all had a green day. And again, I really hope most of, I hope most of you were not affected with the FTT thing. Um, it, that just, it just makes me sad. It makes me, it's not good for this prop firm industry that that happened. Um, and it's just, it's just not cool. It's just not cool on any front. And it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable on so many fronts. So anyway, we'll leave it at that. All right, everybody. Take care. Appreciate every one of you. We'll be back tomorrow. And uh, take care. Have a great evening. And God bless.